the Harmony Alliance offers the opportunity to pool very large data sets from multiple different sources. And so having so much data from so many different sources essentially allows us to address two types of research question. The first one is based around what happens, what are the characteristics of rare patient subgroups. And the second one is about understanding what biomarkers are clinically um, valid in the, the, in the real world setting. Yeah, when we talk about hematological diseases, we have to talk about rare diseases that do not occur in a high frequency. That means we really have to collect large um, data sets to get answers to many research questions. So I think it's really wonderful to have the Harmony data that you can combine a lot of data, uh, especially on these AML patients that are so heterogeneous, so that we can really look into these uh, subgroups. In the field of AML, we have a poor prognosis and many different markers that may deteriorate the prognosis. And these markers, they require probably different treatments Due to these markers, the groups with AML get smaller and smaller, and so they can require larger and larger quantities of patients all over to make these questions addressable and to make it possible that there are answers to these questions. Well, I think there are many obstacles, and they are technical obstacles, but there are also regula regulatory and ethical obstacles. Uh, and I think that Harmony has done a great job already in overcoming some of these obstacles by designing a data infrastructure in which you can not only from a technical, but also from a regulatory and ethical perspective, bring these data together in a responsible way. Harmony really gives the opportunity to take almost everything out of your hands. Um, so they have uh, the experience in, in harmonizing data, in getting all the agreements uh, ready, uh, and actually within a time uh, uh, schedule that, uh, that I couldn't do, couldn't do myself. In a daily settings, I think that uh, we're going to answer both uh, questions from a medical point of view and uh, a patient point of view, uh, mapping the quality of life uh, uh, data. And these questions cannot be addressed only if you use your own data uh, from your own study. Uh, we want to combine all the data from Europe and from other countries. For really reaching results that uh, impact in the patient's life and in the clinical uh, practice, it is essential to have all this data together and it's essential to share it and to analyze it. This is data coming from all over Europe. So it is very valuable. It will help us to, of course, to adapt uh, the new treatments to the local situations and also for the doctors to feel part of a great European community. If we can count on the, the collective power of everyone submitting data and pooling data into Harmony, that is really amazing. More data gives you more power. If you can analyze and address a question using more data that Harmony provides us, the error rates of missing something in, in our models go considerably down. Doing this, it will take time. And uh, uh, so, but we can now, I think, see the effects and the scientific impact of, um, yeah, this kind of large, um, large cohorts. What Harmony is doing shouldn't stay only in the Harmony Research Proposals context, but should be properly integrated and should be uh, taken as a big learning to determine the future of uh, all the decision-making in hematologic malignancies in general. I hope and I'm sure that we will be able to build up a foundation and it will be really the next step in which we can manage this in the very best way by working together as we already performed in the last five, six years.